You guys see that mess of books? It just, now it's a mess. So I got something on Amazon, it was like 20 bucks. It is pink and white, I thought it was cute. A little bit out of place at the moment. Um, whatever, it was pink, it was cute, and we got it, and it's gonna make this mess go away. And I'm like binging uh, The Handmaid's Tale because I was randomly scrolling through Facebook at like, three in the morning. I think it was a friend from like elementary school posted something about The Handmaid's Tale. Thanks a lot girl because, not that you'll ever see this, but like, I am up to season two episode nine and I started this past weekend and it's like Tuesday. Ooh, it's very pink. On the inside and the white on the outside which is the opposite from how it was on the picture but at least that way it's like not so much pink I could even maybe get a second one for over here if needed. Hello, hello vlog channel. What's up guys? I love you. I missed you. Let's hang out. I have a blank calendar right here. I've been taking some notes and jotting some things down, trying to figure out a little bit of a three week fitness plan for myself. So I guess we'll just kind of hang out and I'll talk you through. This year definitely started like fully blazing. You guys know how crazy January was. February we were just dealing with my mom's surgery and then the surgery being postponed because of a problem with her heart. It has just been a lot and I feel like the three people closest to me are all going through like really bad like health life things I am letting the stress of what everyone else is going through like just greatly affect me and I had to check myself real quick like girl hold on like you are healthy as a horse everything is is like okay in your world mentally emotionally physically so like why am i so darn stressed all the time so we're gonna hmm pretty much basically we are on the other side of the surgery now she is back home we're well into recovery and now i am taking the rest of march just to kind of like refocus in on myself and the best way that i like to do that is by doing a little workout plan for myself so i figure if i start tomorrow from friday to friday that gives me three weeks so let's see let's see the gains i could get in three weeks I am excited. I was going to do like a weigh-in and everything for this vlog, but I think I'm gonna just do it tomorrow morning, which would be in the next vlog that you guys get because <laughs> I just ate like a cow and I actually filmed a video cooking that for the main channel. So good. And I really don't feel like putting a tape measure around my stomach right now or getting on a scale. I noticed lately that I've been getting really winded and also, side note, you know when like you get up too quickly and you get like lightheaded? It's been happening all the time, at least once a day, and that's not a good sign, so, um, yeah. Tell me my pen just decided to R.I.P. That's great. R.I.P. to the competition. There's my three weeks plus we just got this cute little pink fridge you know so we're gonna do meal prepping we just got a butcher box this week too so lots of meat in the house we're just gonna do we're gonna do all the things it's all it's like the perfect timing to give like a quick three weeks focus on myself one of my secondary or like supplementary goals is to get the hell out of this house a little bit more because I'm, I'm always 
trapped in here <laughs> and I don't go outside much. I do have a gym membership, but I usually just work out here at home, but not for the next three weeks. We are going to the gym. So the first thing I did was get on the website of my gym and check out like their class schedule and pick out a couple of classes that I'm interested in. It's two days of yoga, a day of kickboxing, a day of burn, and then one day of body combat and yoga's right after, so I could just do both of those. Usually those classes, like, a lot of the times they'll like plan HIIT workouts or they are a little bit more cardio intensive, especially something like kickboxing and stuff like that. So there's like two, three days of some kind of HIIT cardio, get my heart rate going in there. And then there's like two, three days of yoga as well. I think that's like a pretty strong schedule. So I'm gonna pop that in. As far as the gym classes go, if I'm like really dying, or exhausted and like I just can't then I just won't you know what I mean <laughs> um, I'm prioritizing my my actual training program but this is just like a nice extra to have the option and then like I get out of the house too all right so we've got Sunday to Thursday class every morning in the gym now as far as training goes I wanted to do like a three leg day rotation but it's gonna actually end up being about two and a half leg days per week just because I'm gonna do two days in between every leg day so if I do legs on Friday then Saturday Sunday it's off and then Monday I would be doing legs again Tuesday Wednesday off Thursday legs Friday Saturday off Sunday legs so basically I'm going Two days and then leg day. One, two days and then a leg day. One, two days and then a leg day. And then that would be it. So it ends up averaging to like two and a half leg days a week like that. Now the actual leg days are gonna be three different workouts that I'm gonna go through in rotation every, so like it would be leg day one, leg day two, leg day three, leg day one, leg day two, leg day three. My next like, question that I want to ask myself now. Originally when I was kind of like scrapping it out, I did let me see. I did my push and my pull days back to back. I think I want to put a little bit more space between So I think I'm going to change it to legs back and buys and then I'm going to take the day off from training on Sunday. I'll go to yoga in the morning. But I'll take I won't train on Sunday. Then Monday we'll do yoga and legs, and then Tuesday we'll do chest, tries, and shoulders. Yeah, I think that's we're gonna make that switch. I like the way that works better. So pretty much this is like the first thing that I do is just go in and figure out, all right, for X amount of time, right now I'm doing a three-week situation. So what do I want to focus on? I want to hit three leg days in my rotation. Um, okay, cool. So I'll start with that. I put that down on the calendar the days that I'm gonna do that. Okay, what else do I need to do? Maybe not three times a week, but once a week, my push day, my pull day, whatever. Get that in on the calendar. All right, so I've got my nice little plan. This is like my main cheat sheet of like my overview of what I'm doing for the day. My next step from here is to sit down and actually map out the workouts. So. I'm not doing like a different workout for every day. I'm doing one back and by workout and that's what I'm going to be repeating every week. And like I said, for the legs, I'm going to create three different leg days. So one is definitely going to be a body weight only pumper day and then the other two days. Um, that way I know what body part I'm training on the specific day. Then I go into my other sheet. I know the exact workout that I'm doing. I'm doing the same thing for the three weeks and I'm just you know, progressive overload as we go. So I'm gonna work on that for the rest of the night. I'll post like the three weeks here on the vlog channel, so I'll do the weigh-in and everything tomorrow morning for you guys. Prep water. So it could be nice and cold and ready to go in the morning. I gotta get mint, I have to go to the supermarket. Ooh, I need a cute ice tray for my new cute pink fridge. Yay! It's so excited. Should I track my calories completely? I was just gonna focus on protein and just check track my protein. I'm like 132-ish right now, so let's say if I do 25 to 30, I have to do 25 to 30 grams per meal five times a day, and that'll get me to like about that one-to-one -one area. 
that's a good place to be. So if I do a scoop and a half for my protein shake, that'll knock out one of those. So then it's four more meals of like actual food for 25 to 30 grams a meal. I'm gonna have to get like a couple dozen eggs, start boiling eggs. If I do like four eggs a day, <laughs> four hard boiled eggs, that's like 24 grams right there. That's probably gonna be my biggest challenge to be honest over the next three weeks, but whatever. I need to stress about myself for a little bit and this is like the good kind of stress this is like the data and the numbers and the analyzing and the tweaking performance instead of me being stressed about everybody else's problems ha <sighs> dios mio all right <laughs> let's see let's see let's see how jacked i could get in the next three weeks ah yay all right guys i'm gonna go finish planning out like the actual specific workouts for each of the days and just have a nice little reference sheet of that and then go to bed and get ready to start this tomorrow. All right, wish me luck. I will see you guys in the morning. I love you. Bye.